Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of the things that have been added as part of the upgrade. But the first thing I want to do is talk to you about updating your machine. In order to use Upgrade 2, you need to update your machine to version 3.04. Now you can do this automatically by using auto download on your machine if you have your Wi-Fi set up or you can copy that file to a USB stick that needs to be a clean USB stick with no programs on it and I have instructions for that on YouTube. I do have a mouse attached to my machine so I will be using that mouse. We are going to go back to page 11 at the bottom of page 11, you'll see there is an app guide. My Stitch Monitor was added as a feature with Upgrade Kit 1. In order to use this app, where you can monitor the progress status of your embroidery on your smart device, and that includes thread color information, if you have a thread break, notifying you when you need to change a color or when your design is complete, you could upload that to your either your Android or your iOS device. And if you have a camera on those devices, what you can do is point towards the icons that you see here and what it will do is go directly to the site for you to download that app. With my design snap added with kit two, we can now create embroidery patterns from images in my design center. So there are features in my design snap that are exclusive to those machines that don't have a projector or a camera. And that would be something like the Stellar or the embroidery only baby lock Meridian. But for someone that owns a Luminaire or a Solaris, with Kit 2, you can use the last item that allows you to import that image, and that's going to be like, like a picture, more or less. So I want to talk to you about that. Again, you would use your phone in order to do that. We're going to take a moment and look at my iPad, because I want to, to go through the process with you and show you how that's done. So whenever you set up my design snap, you need to set it up so it's connected to the machine. Now mine is already connected. So if I open it up and I have this screen, all I need to do is touch. And you can now see that it's connected. The, the icon that we would use is select image for pattern editing. The top two icons, we will not use those on our Luminaire or our Solaris. There are several ways that you can get images. And what I do is I look for, for instance, free coloring pages or something similar to that. But you need to read everything about those pages to make sure that they're pages that you can use. And what I do is I have two choices. I can print this image or I can download a PDF. Well, since I'm at my iPad when I'm searching for these things, I download the PDF. Now, obviously, this, this is too big right now for me to snap a picture. The easy thing for me to do on this device is to save that PDF somewhere else. So I copy it to my iBooks. And you can see it now. Now what I do is I snap a picture of it. And on my tablet here, all I'm doing is holding down two buttons to snap a picture. So I've just taken a picture of that, and now I'll edit away what I don't need. So I'll just edit this portion away and save this and choose Done. So it's saved to my photos. Now the photo is the image that I want to send to my design snap. So what I'm going to do is go back into my design snap. I'm going to, on my tablet, I'm sorry, but I have to turn it in this direction in, in a portrait mode. But anyway, I'm going to select that image. And here it is right here. 
So once I select that image, I need to be at my machine. So we're going to go back to the machine and we'll continue there. So now we're at the machine, we're in my design center, and I need to be able to send this image to my machine and accept it in my design center. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the screen where it says send to the machine. So I'll go ahead and send this to the machine. Now what I'm going to do on my machine is I'm going to go into my design center and go to the line design. So we're going to select line design. Now this is on Wi-Fi, so we need to go to Wi-Fi and you can see I've sent three images. I know that the last image is that image that I want to transfer. So I'll select that image and I'll choose set. Now, when I choose set, we're going to follow this process just like we always have for a line drawing. We can adjust the, the frame around this so that we don't necessarily have to have all of uh, the outside of, of this image and particularly things that we don't want. For instance, if there are words, now you need to be very cautious about what the legal sense is about these images and whether or not you can use it for your personal use or if you can sell it or but you just it, you're responsible for your copyright let me put it that way so make sure that you read that and you follow copyright what i'm doing is illustrating how you can take an image and bring it into your machine I want to change the stitch type. This was added with version 3.04. And I think what I want this to be is a triple running stitch. And I'll go ahead and leave it on black. And then what I'm going to do is choose okay. Now when it comes in, there may be some things that I need to clean up. I can try it with different levels of grayscale detection to see if it improves the picture. So you, you can, can go back and choose return and retry it again if you want to. I raise the grayscale, let me try it again and see what kind of results I get. I like that better because I can see the, the eyes and I'll go ahead and choose set. Now, at this point, you would just follow whatever you want to do as part of working with this because you have the image in the background. Don't forget that you now have higher levels if you have version 3.04 on the update, so you can darken that image if you want. You no longer need that background, although you may want to use it to go in and get some of the finer detail. 